Hello everybody, this is Locky Minecraft. I'm sorry for the delay between the last few videos. I just haven't had any good ideas for plugin tutorials, and I've been busy. Um, all right, so today we're going to be going over World Edit. It's pretty simple to install. Just throw it in the plugins folder. I'm not even going to show you how to do it this time. I think you should all be pretty set on doing that yourself by now. So the main command for World Edit is slash slash wand. This is going to give you the World Edit wand that you use to make selections to form shapes. So the first thing you're going to want to do is we're going to start with the slash slash set command. So if you just left click in one location, right click in the other, and type slash slash set, and then the block you want to set it to, so we're going to set to grass, so the item ID is two, it'll take those two locations, form a cube out of it, and then fill it with that block. You could have made that 3D if you wanted to. Next, we're going to go over slash slash replace left click on one side, right click on the other. Then it's going to form a, a selection around those two, so it's going to select everything in here, and you're going to want to type slash slash replace. The block ID you want to replace, so we're going to replace gravel with grass. So the first one is the one you want to replace, the second one is what you want to replace it with. Pretty straightforward. The next one is going to be an example of slash slash walls. Left click on one location, right click on the other, going to form a cube in between them, but this time it's going to make walls for that cube. So let's type slash slash walls, fairly straightforward, and then the block we want the walls to be made out of. So let's make them out of, I don't know, stone. As you can see, it's filled in the walls, but not the middle. If this were bigger, it would be the same. And as you can see, it did both levels. Next, what we're going to be going over is slash slash copy and slash slash paste. Slash slash paste. As you can see, we've got, again, our little grid. Left click one side, right click the other of your build or whatever you want. Stand somewhere near it and remember where. So say I stand right here. I know that I'm standing on the far left of it. So now I'm gonna type slash slash copy. Then facing the same direction, I'm gonna move over. So now I'm standing where I want the far left of it to be and then type slash slash paste. And there you go. We've got an exact replica. It didn't copy the space under it because I didn't select that. If I had selected a block lower instead of this block, it would have done that. So that's some of the basics of creating shapes and replacing stuff. But next we're going to get into brushes. So we're just going to grab a few tools here. I'm just going to grab a few axes to use as brush models. Now, grab any tool you want and just type slash brush smooth. Now what this brush is going to do is smooth out terrain. So let's take a look over here. If I fly down this way, we've got this sort of awkwardly generated hill, right? But after using the smooth brush a little bit, doesn't work so well with trees admittedly, but it does smooth out some of this stuff. As you can see, it's generating a nicer hill. I would not recommend using it near trees. Um, that is its biggest limitation, but as you can see it's smoothing this out nicely. We'll do the same over here. So it's giving us a nice, a nice, it's a natural looking hill. So that's how the smooth brush works after you right click, I'm right clicking to do this by the way. Um, that's the smooth brush. Um, it's going to be bound to this axe. If I right click with the other axe, oh I already used this axe for something, oops. But um, right click with this axe, nothing will happen. This one I've already got as a wand for something else we're going to work on in a second. But this is the smooth brush, no other tool will smooth besides this one unless you set it to. Let's throw that away. Next we're going to get into sphere brushes. So let's type slash brush sphere, so this is going to create a, a sphere. The next number you're going to want to type is the item ID, so we're going to use iron blocks which is 42, and the next is the radius, so we'll make our radius 4. So now if we right click with this tool. As you can see, we get an iron block sphere with a radius of 4, where I right-clicked. I can kill this sheep with it if I want to. It's fairly straightforward. And uh, they're pretty neat to generate. They look cool, and they're great for creating. You know, they're just nice. Um, you obviously don't want to use them like this, but there's a lot, a lot of good ways to use spheres in your designs. Now, if you want your sphere to be hollow, you're going to need to add something else to that. You want to type slash brush sphere minus H for hollow, then again the block you want it made out of and the radius. So here we go. Right click, you see no difference for now, but as you can see the sphere is hollow. 
pretty straightforward. Um, I guess I didn't prove to you that these weren't, but they are. See, you can dig through them. They're just solid iron blocks. And uh, yeah, so that's sphere generation. I can generate a few more hollow spheres if you want to see. Pretty straightforward. Um, hollow spheres will not replace the blocks inside them with air. They will just fill in the blocks they need to. Next, cylinders. This is another kind of shape. Um, obviously, to create a cube, or I guess a rectangle, what's the term for it? Quadrilateral, no, I'm not even sure, whatever. To create the big squares and rectangles, you can just use slash slash set. But uh, we're gonna work on some other shapes right here. So grab your next brush. You're gonna type slash brush, cylinder, then your sh shape, or I'm uh, not your shape, sorry, what you want it made out of. So we're gonna do, I spelled that wrong. Uh, what you want it made out of, again, iron blocks. And next is how, how, what the radius you want it to, what its radius is. So the radius of the cylinder, four. And the next variable you're gonna wanna specify here is the height, how many blocks high is the cylinder. And we're gonna do 10 for fun. Uh, maximum height allowed is five, we'll do five. <laughs> so now if we right click, we've got a cylinder that is made out of 42. It has got a radius of four and it is five tall. One, two, three, four, five. And it is one, two, three, four to the center. So that's pretty good. As you can see, radius of four to the center. Um, that's it for that kind of sphere. Throw away that tool. Next, you're gonna type slash brush, cylinder, and then minus H, and then that's gonna make it hollow. Then what you want it made out of, 42 again, we'll make it four out of a uh, radius of four and two tall. Now, if we right click with this, we get a hollow cylinder. And you can start to see how this would be useful for building. As you can see, we've got sort of a tower outline here. Um, in this tutorial, we're just gonna go over brushes and some of the basic slash slash commands from World Edit. Thank you for watching, bye.